I'll be using Visual Studio Code as my preferred IDE. If you already have a setup and you're able to create React project, you can continue to use that. One great thing, benefit of Visual Studio is the ability to use remote developer tool and that uses Docker um, container so that we can create an isolated development environment. The good thing with that also is it comes pre-built with a lot of the utilities that we need, such as Git, um, AWS CLI, and any other utility, which is a pretty easy way to get started. So I've already created a simple React project. This is just the bare bone project itself. But before I start making any changes, I'll go ahead and enable a remote developer tool. The first thing you need to do is and that is if you're using Visual Studio, is to go over to the extensions and type in remote containers. And I've already added it, have it um, installed, but you do need to get this installed. Um, if you haven't installed this, you, this disable button should be an install in your machine. Once that is installed, we want to go to view command palette. And we want to type or search for our remote containers. Add development container. Once you click add development container, here we can choose the container image that we need. So for React application, we need Node.js. And I'll go with 16. We also need a few utilities and this is where this makes this a lot easier so we're gonna go with AWS CLI git and github CLI and I think that should be enough yep that should be enough so it okay and we'll go with the latest and this will start a few prompts we're gonna hit reopen in container and this may take a minute or two before we rebuild the container, we want to make a few changes. So if you collapse, now you'll see a new folder structure with the container. Should be a Docker file, which is just a bare bone Docker and the image that we choose. But this is where we can make some additional configuration. What this does is this will give you an isolated Visual Studio Code environment, right? So we're able to still add any extension that we need. So if we go to extension, and one extension that I like to use is the Prettier extension. If you right click, you can add it to the dev container. So if there's any other extension that you like to use, you can follow this process. So if we go back and open up this, we should see the extension created there. And this, we haven't built the image yet. So since this is a container, we also need to forward traffic to the container. React tends to use port 3000, so we'll, we'll go with that as well. And we also need to uncomment the post create. I am using NPM. If you're using Yarn, you can leave this as default. Another thing I like to do is to add a means to automatically reload the node project or react in this case. So I'll go ahead and add one small utility. So I'll go ahead and add um, Chuckadar. So let's type container environment and in parentheses, we want to type in all caps. There are other utilities you can use to get auto reload like Nodeman, but I like to use this one. And we want to set this to true. And this should be lowercase. And that should be it. We're going to go ahead and save this. The next step is to rebuild the container and that should give us the container. Here already um, in the container instance, we want to rebuild this. So let's go to the command palette again and you can search for remote containers rebuild. And this will rebuild the image with all the latest changes that we just made. This may take a few minutes to 
to run. And if I look at the logs, you'll start seeing that container building process is downloading all the, the tooling that we need. So my process took around three to four minutes and you should get this prompt press any key to close the container. And I'm gonna hit Control C or Command C to exit. Or you can go ahead and open up a new tab. So we should be in running the container with all the changes. These ports should be open. So let's go ahead and actually try to run our React application. And again, we need to be in the project itself. So let me CD and I'll go ahead and clear this. And there we go. And there is our application running on the container itself. And this is not your local machine. So it's running within the container. You do get a local address. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. Um, Command C, Control C if you're on a Mac. Windows.